So this is my first ever YouTube video um, and I was recommended uh, Shed Wars by my friend basically just said do a video of your garden uh, share some growing tips and um, and yeah just show people around so so here we go um, obviously it's locked down at the moment in the UK and it has been for the last sort of six weeks or so uh, probably longer um, so I decided to use this downtime um, to focus on my garden and improve what I've got and I'm pleased to say the whole garden's been completely transformed I can try and share some before and after pictures after well, following on from this um, but I'll just show you around show you what I've done and see what you think um, I also understand there's meant to be some trash talking incorporated us versus them uh, it's America the greatest country in the world well, we'll see about that America we'll see so I've made these planter things with timber and I've painted um, them and the fences all grey. It's uh, Cupranol uh, Silver Copes, I think the colour's called. Uh, so I've made a little border along there, painted trellis, planted a uh, flower, a clematis there, got my barbecue, bought that the other day. Um, and I've also made this really cool herb planter, which is out of a Euro palette. And uh, yeah, it's early doors, but I've got some basil in there and some coriander in there, rosemary, mint, and parsley, and then one more to be filled. Put a hanging basket up the other day. Um, got these new electric uh, sockets and painted uh, this. So I've got a nice dark grey on the fences, a nice light grey on the, uh, the conservatory and wall here. This character's moving probably down to the pond, which I'll show you in a second. Um, and then, yeah, I've planted some lilies, um, some uh, morning glory, which I've grown from seed, uh, some sorted flowers and probably some weeds in there, which I've just grouped and chucked in, uh, some raspberries, and I think that's called bear's claw. Um, over here, I've got roses pear tree like um some things. bulbs that will be um, coming through soon uh yeah, a, a azalea really funny, like, black berries um, raspberries yeah, and, and again some course. flowers yeah, some that have come out some spring flowers but others poking on through and i made again yeah. following on from the theme i've planted really? uh, another pl well made another planter here and got some really nice bulbs that i've taken from b and q which is our sort of diy shop in the uk and some red hot pokers in there let's put some um garden compost and then uh topsoil and then um some chippings on top to keep the weeds down i had a, a a bathtub in my garden which i've sunk into the ground it's a bit weird um but that's that's their deal with it america and i got some beetroot some salads and some really nice leafy um, Swiss chard. Again, some some salads, some uh, spicy salads, uh, some parsley and some asparagus. They're on their third year. I've had a few. They've been delicious, but I'm leaving those ones grow through uh, in the hope to encourage more growth. Got a, a pear there. A little tree area, which I tidied up a little bit. Got a chicken coop, which is soon to have two chickens in it. And then I've built myself a pond. So today's an exciting day because I've just had my fish order come through. Um, this pump has got two functions. You've got your, your waterfall and your, your sprinkler. I've turned the sprinkler off for the time being and I think I'm gonna take off that uh, tubing and sort of sink it down and just leave the waterfall because I think it's a nicer sound and more relaxing. It's a little bit intense. Um, the fish are hiding at the moment, and I think underneath that um, green thing, because it's very hot, I need to build some fish caves for them. Got a nice little seating area here. Should have had a tidy up, but this is the stuff the fish came in. Uh, I've put some nice um, trellises up the back there, and I've ordered some Arthur Bell climbing roses, which are gonna go sort of in there. I'm gonna submerge the, um, the piping, neaten it all up, get some more pebbles in there. Uh, but yeah, no, I've always wanted a pond and I think it brings a nice little water feature to the garden, which is nice. 
a little shed. And then this is quite a cool little experiment I've done, digging up breeze blocks from the floor, which was the old setup from the old owners. I've um, reused them and created my own raised bed, which is a little bit, little bit random, um, but I think it, uh, it works. It's a fig tree there. So what have I got here? I've got some spring onions, uh, which have literally from the store chopped off the bottoms after using, planted the bottoms and hey presto, so spring onions are growing. Um, loads of stuff self-seeded because I use a lot of the compost from my compost bin. Um, so there's some really nice sort of salady, spicy salady mix coming through there. I'm gonna thin it all out um, at some point. I've got some, some beetroot, which I planted. Um, some lettuce butts again, which I've done the whole reusing store food, seeing if it works. Uh, it's very hot at the moment, so I don't think I'm keeping them quite moist enough, but um, yeah, I've been told that works. And then there's a load of stuff that, um, like squash uh, or pumpkin, which is reseeded from, like I said, last year's compost. Um, then I've got my raised bed, got loads of um, kale planted. Uh, along with some Brussels sprouts uh, and I got some other sort of kale varieties over there. Uh, I've put copper tape around the the, uh, the border for like a eco-friendly sort of non uh, non damaging slug uh, repellent. Got some onions and some potatoes growing there. More chard and then some really nice squash uh, varieties um some uh, corn and french beans um doing a, a free sisters grow system where the squash covers the ground and stops the weeds the corn grows up tall and then the french beans go around the uh the, the stalk and uh, it all sort of works well together and the beans actually push sort of nitrogen into the soil so that's a cool little trick if anyone hasn't uh, come across that before some carrots in there uh, some potatoes and then I'm really pleased this year I managed to get some netting on my fruit area so I've got blueberries loads of strawberries raspberries which is just taken over the back um, black uh, currants and gooseberries uh, as well as goji berries and rhubarb uh, over here we've got my artichokes which are doing really well this year really dense there are quite a few of those already uh, if you haven't grown them before sort of biannual producer so uh, you plant them one year and they produce the next um, really good flavor 40 minutes in the oven and some foil lemon uh, olive oil salt pepper and you're laughing um, a tip there is just to keep mulching the ground hay uh, manure whatever it is just keep keep mulching and they've literally grown like wildfire one plant over here is pretty much set sections itself off into many uh, same with that one got my cold frame which isn't being used at the moment a compost area and then onto the got some leaks there but onto the poly tunnel so rigged up this really cool uh, sprinkler system the other day which uh, is just tubing which connects with some cable ties and then these purpose built sort of uh, you stab a hole put a few different adapters through and then this thing just chucks out and, and mimics the rainwater when you uh, plug the the garden hose in it does the job and um, so we've got some more corn that's going to be joining uh, where the other corn is some brassicas uh, a lot of tomatoes sort of potted up they're the surplus that i had pak choy fennel um reusing some uh, compost from old uh, bins chucked a load of uh, worms found in the garden and then like um what's it called blood fish and bone in there with some um rock dust and uh, i understand that the worms just eat all that plus some um, kitchen scraps that i've thrown in there and then next year this will be really good uh sort of compost again to be reused um we also have aubergine which i'm a bit worried to start them a bit late this year because they're only small um but we've got some of those aubergine we've got sweet pepper we've got padron peppers which i'm really excited about uh, i've never actually managed to grow them previously but they're looking really good this year some flower varieties uh some marigolds in there to stop the bugs i understand they uh they're really good to partner up with tomatoes um got some cucumbers got some uh yellow sort of 
courgette varieties, three of those in. I've got a melon in there. Uh, I've got some beetroot, some sugar snap peas, uh, more beetroot, and then in between you've got sort of like basil and coriander and different things sort of integrated nicely. And we've got some hanging uh, strawberries just for picking while I'm in the polytunnel. And I planted these up today, which is just a hanging basket and morning glory. Add some some colour. So yeah, that's pretty much my setup. Um, hopefully I've done the video right and it sort of matches the criteria and I look forward to uh, giving you guys some more trash talk.